Imana yacu habwe icyubahiro. May our God be honored. Ngirira mugenzi wawe ngo karibu mu butumire budasanzwe bw'Imana. Tell your neighbor welcome to an exceptional invitation of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Ibyo mujye mu byatura mu mbaraga. Always confess that in power. Kandi mujye mwatura mwizeye. Always confess it. Kuko mwisi y'umwuka hari kiba kiriho kirakoreka. Because in the spiritual realm something takes place. Kuko isi y'umwuka igomba kumenya ko wicaye hano kubwa impamvu. The spiritual realm has got to know that you're seated here for Ntabwo waje hano gutyo gusa. You did not just come here. Wicaye hano kubwa ubutumire bw'ijuru. You came here because heaven invited you. Imana yacu ni habwe cyo. May our God be honored. Imana yacu ishirwe hejuru. Our God be lifted. Urabizi ko dufite amasengesho y'iminsi irindwi yose. You know we have a prayer for 7 days. Twiyiriza dusenga. Fasting and praying. Twihana. Uh, repenting kubwo gusana igicaniro cy'ubuntu bw'Imana hano hano for us to build an altar of the grace of God in this place igicaniro cy'ubuntu bw'Imana ntabwo kizaguma hano gusa the grace altar will not remain here only Imana ni 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 tugirira ubuntu if God has mass on us igicaniro cy'ubuntu bwayo kigasanwa and this grace altar is kizasanwa mu nzu yayo it will be built in his house kizasanwa mu rugo rwawe it will be built in our home kizasanwa mu muryango wawe it will be built in your family kizasanwa mu gihugu cyacu it will be built in our country Imana yacu ihabwe icyubahiro our God be honored iyo tuvuga ngo gusana igicaniro cy'ubuntu when we say building an altar ni jambo rikomeye It's a strong word. That has two things. The first is an altar. The first is the grace of God. Our God be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All these. We had the blessing of studying grace this year. We have an understanding of what the grace of God is. But what I can tell you. Doing good of God all of you. The grace of God. The goodness of God. The goodness of God. It comes from the grace of God. We have been given 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 the grace of God. We have been kugira ngo twumve icyo turiho turashaka icyariki for us to understand what we are searching for kugira ngo twumve icyo imana yadutumye icyariki for us to know what god has sent us to imana yacu habwe icyuba our god be on hari ibintu biba ku bantu there are things that happen on people ugasanga birahora bigaruka 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 and they have a repeat and a repeat ugasanga nko mu muryango you find in the family harimo nko umuntu w'ikigoryi there is a foolish person ariko muri buri muryango and in every family uko mugenda mukurikirana the way you follow each other ugasanga hagiye haboneka mu kigoryi 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 you find there is a foolish person foolish person and foolish person ugasanga hagiye haboneka mu musazi and you find a mad one ugasanga hagiye haboneka mu businzi budacika and you find alcoholism that doesn't stop ugasanga hagiye haboneka mu kudashaka and you find people fail to marry Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you put your eyes backwards, and you find that in the people of your father's family there was an auntie who died without marrying. And when you go backwards a little, you find there's another who died without marriage. Then that spirit of not marrying comes upon our entire family. Even the one who marries, they have a very bad marriage, and they're always in problems. One leg in and one leg out. May our God rescue us. Or you find that in the family of your father, there was a woman who had a husband who was very rich, and he was very rich. In one year, there is a person who dies. You find in your family, come what you want. There is someone who has to die. Come what you want. There is someone who has to die. 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 There is some
that that we see they have an altar that people built there are altars that people built in our grandfather that are pulling that call this is why we have to know what altars are and you have sufficient knowledge brethren let me tell you you did good work in the house of God you prayed you fasted you fasted without even doing a thing or you fasted 40 you fasted for 100 days you fasted for so many days but nothing changes on your life why? you prayed until now you say but I pray but nothing changes I'm a servant of God. I've hit, I've prayed, but I pray for other people. They are rescued. I'm not. There is a truth that you have no understanding about. You could have had it in a general manner. Mainly we are always separating ourselves. We separate with sin nature. Yes, we pray about it. But where is that sin nature seated? Where is it seated? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You separate with sin nature. But what you need to know, you have to know the root of that sin nature. You prayed. You prayed. You fasted. You did so much good work. Why is this sin nature following your life? Can we say that our God is not righteous? It is not righteous. Can we say that our God is not righteous? Never. Our God is righteous. But let us know. Our God is righteous. But let us know. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now when you know the origin, you're going to uproot. Sometimes we say anything not planted by God be uprooted. Even if you pray, and the master or the ghost standing above it continues to stand in that place. You wake up, it's the same. And you fought whole night. Another entire week passes, it's the same. You find people producing out of outside marriage and you just say these people have bad habits. There is something seated there. That's the thing we have to uproot in these seven days. We have to uproot. We have to uproot. We have to know to go in the roots. And we remove in the roots. And we remove. Yesterday I told you that you have authority. But an authority and a person who has authority knows. When you have no knowledge, you have no authority. Our God have all the honor. We have God in heaven. May the name of God be honored. The things we are going, what we are going to study today. In these seven days, we are going to continue learning on, on altars. But what we shall study today, we are going to ask ourselves, what is an altar? What I will turn to what I will focus on is to tell you that an altar an altar is not for demons an altar is a, is a principle of God let's start there altars are a principle of God 
Hallelujah. Amen. Aho tuhumve neza. Let's understand so well. Aho tuhumve chane. Let's underscore. Kukwa wa Christo. Because Christians. Kumvi se muritkwe. We understand in us. Ivi chane rani vitambo. Altars and sacrifices. Ni ivi java daimon. Are for demons. Na avgari ivi java navi iman. They are not for children of God. Kwa ivi java navi iman. As children of God. Muri Christo Yesu. In Christ Jesus. Joseph jara rangi. Everything is finished. Yego nuku. That's the truth. I agree. Yes, we are here. Jesus came. He became a sacrifice for us to get eternal life. Did I tell you that yesterday? You have eternal life. Seated with it. It will never stop you to be poor. It will not stop you for your children to encounter all the problems we encounter. That's the truth. You have eternal life. Because there is a price that was paid on that soul. The children of the child of God who is alive. He was sacrificed as a sacrifice. Why? Because sacrifices are a principle of God. Sacrifices are a principle of God. Sacrifices are Sacrifices are not a principle of the devil. Altars, the word an altar, it's spoken about three, 365 times in It comes again 365 times in the Bible. That's one of the, of the things that come back again in the Bible. How many times does the year have? How many, how many days does the year have? Hmm? 365. An altar comes 365. Times. Which means there should be an altar or a sacrifice each day. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the principle of God. May our God be honored. We are going to see around three written words and then we shall understand what the altar is because of time. Let's see in uh, Genesis 9. Genesis 9, 20. Haravuga ngo itangiriro umunani makumyabiri. Haravuga ngo no wa yubakira uwiteka igicaniro. Atoranya mu matungo yose no mu nyamaswa zose zitazira no mu nyone n'ibisiga bitazira atambira kuri icyo gicaniro ibitambo byoswa. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and taking some of all the clean animals and clean birds he sacrificed burnt offerings on it. The Lord smelled the pleasing aroma and said in his heart, Never again will I cast the ground because of humans, even though every inclination of human heart is evil. Uhere ya mubuga na bugabo, kandi, uhere ya mubuga na bugabo, kandi sinzo njera kuicha, iwifitu bujingo bjose, nguko na kozi. From childhood, and I never again will I destroy all living creatures as I have done. Kumrongo wa maku mnyaviri na kabiri umveneza. On verse 2, listen well. Isi chiriho. As long as the earth and jewels, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, will never cease. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Because of an altar. Because of an altar. That has had a sacrifice for God Almighty. God regrets for what he has done. And then he puts a promise. May our God be honored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the Bible, you see that there were so many altars. Now let's go in Genesis 12. Genesis 12. Genesis 12. Amen. Then Lord God appeared to Abraham and said, To your offspring I'll give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who appeared to him. Amen. Amen. Guhe aho hose all that place if you continue to see you find an altar it's a plan that was blessed by God but now we are going to ask ourselves what's an altar for God to have put a plan what's an altar now let's go to look. There are people who like the New Testament. In their mindset, they are saying they are talking about the Old Testament only. Benedata. Brethren. In Matthew 5:17. Jesus said, I did not come to remove laws and the promises. But I came to farm them. The Bible did not come to remove one part and remain with another. From Genesis to Revelation, it's the word of God. Luke 1, 10 and 12. Luke 1, 10 and 12. Rubanda rwasengera gahanze maze uh -huh. and when the time for burning incense came all assembled worshippers prayed from outside maze maraika w'umwami imana amubonekera ahagaze iburyo bw'igicaniro kimebavu then an angel of the lord appeared to him standing at the right side of the altar of incense zakaria amubonye ari zakaria amubonye Amen. When Zachariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. Amen. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zachariah. Your prayer has been heard. Umugore wawe Elizabeth azakubyarira umuhungu uzamwita Yohana Amen Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you're to call him John Amen Amen Ubusobanuro rero bw'igicaniro The explanation of an altar igicaniro an altar na hantu is a place cyangwa uburyo a way a system Nahanu. It's a place. Changu burjo. Uburjo system na yobewe ucho na chita mchinyarugwanda neza. Changu burjo. Isi yunguka. It's a place or a system where the spiritual realm. Ihurira. Connects. Nisi ifatika yumubi. Of the physical earth of the flesh. Ndasubiramo. I'll repeat. Nahanu. It's a place. Changwa no burjo. Or a system. Isi yunguka. The spiritual realm. Ihurira. Connects. Ni yisifatika. With the tangible earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Isi yunguka. The spiritual realm. Ihurira. Connecting. Ni yisifatika. With the tangible earth. May our God be honored. Now let's go back to the teachings of yesterday. Yesterday I asked you who is a person. For a person to be called man and be called someone in authority. 
to have a dominion. Uh-huh. For someone to be a human being and to have dominion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That person has to have a flesh. And in that body there is the soul. And that's the spirit. In between the body, the flesh and the soul. And there is knowledge. There is a mind. And there is a mindset. Hallelujah. Thoughts. The emotions. And there is the will of man. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, just a person of the flesh. That's not a person. Even that dominion, they can't gain it. Hallelujah. The spirit. This is where I want to focus. The spirit. Without a body. Cannot work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the spirits have no ability. Because they are not complete to give me ability. This is why spirit is always moving. Fighting a person. So that they enter that body. Then they have a stress to work in the body. To work in the earth. To work in the world here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A spirit without a body cannot have ability. Our God be honored. I think you're looking at me as if you're not understanding. Umva. Listen. Dufate kui chichi nu ari arumoviri. Let's compare that this is a body. Sivyo. Muru yomoviri. In this body. Ni tangiri rigi cha chambere. Ni tangiri roni kwa tu gira mugi cha chakavi. In Genesis one. In Genesis 2, God molded a human being in the soil. Then he breathed the spiritual breath in there. There is a person who used to live with God. That's the one we find in Jeremiah chapter 1, 5. I knew you before I created you. And I set you apart to be a prophet of nations. I knew you before I created you. Who is that? Who is that one who they knew before they lived? There is someone who was known before they were created. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor you existed before you were born in your mother's womb. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I find that I'll end on this one alone. God said I knew you before I created you. This means that before you were seed in your mother's womb, you lived. Hallelujah. Amen. You lived. The person who was there, they are the ones they brought. And they put in that cover that is built in a woman's womb. Now, in that woman, a human structure was built. That's a factory of a packaging. Hallelujah. Amen. Then in that packaging that was created in the womb of a woman, they put in that person the one who is a spirit, the one who could not work before they got the packaging. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you carry sugar without a packaging? Can you carry juice without a package? Can you carry water without a package? May our God be 
Nawe wowe umwuka even you his spirit ni washobaraga kubaho you could at live utarabanza kubona ambalage before you got a packaging umubyeyi cyakora what the parent does imani remera mu nda ya ambalage what create in that stomach yarangizi gashiramo wa muntu then it places that yarari ho that lived na papa wawe na mama wawe batarabana before your parents connected to be married Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No ne horero. Now, muri yisi in this world hari myuka myinshi. There are so many spirits. Hari myuka myinshi. There are so many spirits. Ntabwo twe tuyibona. We don't see them. Ari kizi yuzuye myuka. But the sp- the whole world is full of spirits. Hari myuka hari abamaraika ni myuka. The angels are spirits. Kandi jambo ry'Imana yavuga ngo abamaraika ni myuka ibakorera. The word of God says that angels are winds that serve you. But who call it our hearts? Where do they work from? Hari giye tubwira ngo ndabona abamaraika bagenda genda hano mu itori. Sometimes I tell you I can see angels moving in this church. Barahari, they are there. Baragenda, they are moving. Hari ko ntabwo wababona. But you can't see them. Kubera ko batambaye umubiri. Because they are not dressed in the flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hari aba demon. They are demons. Now let me ask you a question. Do you ever hear someone when the devil is speaking in their heart, life? deliverances that you have witnessed. Have you ever heard someone where the devil speaks? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Demons are spirits. They move around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All those spirits. Shobozi, they don't have an ability. They have no authority. They can have because they don't have a body. Hallelujah. Amen. Niyo mpamva ba daimoni. This is why demons. Birirwa bashakisha. They are always searching. Kugira ngo babone umubiri. So that they find a body. Bakoreramo. They walk from. None ho bagira imbaraga. Then they have strength. Zivuye ko babonye umubiri bicaye. Because they found a body where they are seated. Hallelujah. Amen. Aba demons babasha kujya mu mubiri w'igisimba. Demons can go in an animal. Ariko demon uri mu mubiri w'igisimba. But a demon in an animal. Ndashaka kukubwira ntuzongere no kugira ubwoba bw'igisimba. I want to ask you not to fear an animal. Baraga fite. They don't have power. Ntabutwara fite. They no authority. Kuko igisimba nta bwenge nta namaranga mutima kiki. Because the animal has no knowledge and it has no emotion. Kugira ngo imana ibashe kugukoresha. For God to use you. Ugomba kuba ufite bwa bwenge n'amaranga mutima n'ubushake. You have to have the knowledge, the will and the, the zeal. Kuko gukora ineza n'ubushake bwa. To do good is your will. Gukora nabi n'ubushake bwa. To do bad is your will. Umuntu utagira ubushake muri we. A person who has no will in them. Ntabwo yamenya guhitamo. They don't know how to choose. Hallelujah. Amen. Niyo mpamvu rero this is why kubera ibyo mwabyumvise. Because of all that I tell you an altar. It's a place. Hallelujah. Nahanu. It's a place. Or a, a system. Butuma. That makes the spiritual realm. Works with the tangible us. Hallelujah. Amen. Ikora nanisifatika. To work with the tangible earth. Muyandi magambo. In other words, igicaniro, an altar, gihesha uburenganzira. It gives authority. Wa mwuka, that spirit, utarufite ubushobozi. That didn't have an ability. Igicaniro kiwuha imbaraga. The altar gives us strength. Kubera ko cyubatswe n'umuntu. Because it's built by a human being. Ukagiha imbaraga. It gives us power. Zo kugira ngo umwuka ubashe gukora mwisi. So that that spirit can come and work in this world. Hallelujah. Amen. This is why. There are no, when there are no altars. All those spirits that you see. All demonic spirits. All the spirits that come from sorcery. Of alcohol and adultery. Comes from sorcery. It can't have power on you. It can't have power on people. Ataruko hari igicanira ahantu. No because there's an altar. Cyashizweho. That has been placed. Gives the right. Yamyuka. Those spirits. 
please. So that they can come and walk upon that rain. So that they can walk in people. Hallelujah. Amen. Maraika wo witeka. The age of God kwabonye muri Luka that we saw in Luke. Yaje ruko habone tigicani. He came because there was an altar. Bihereye mu gicaniro through that altar. Yaraje hagarari ruhande rwa ahagarari ruhande rwa 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 Zakaria. They came and stood beside Zakaria. Kuberi ki? Why? Igicaniro an altar kamuheshaje ubushobozi. Gave ability to work on this earth. That's a tangible way. In an evidently. When someone is building an altar, they give ability spirits to work. Without without an altar, without an altar, those spirits, whether it's a spirit of God, whether it's a demonic spirit, it has no ability to work. That's the plan of God. You can't change anything. Because that's the plan of God. In the beginning, when Adam and Eve were in Eden, God came on his own. Heaven and earth were connected. Hallelujah. Amen. But after they sinned, and they were taken out of heaven, God put something else. That will enable the spirit to continue working with the world. That's something that God is taught. It's an altar. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can understand, say amen. 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 We are going to give two people, people to ask I'm seeing people just talking. two questions. Are you understanding? Why am I asking you to ask and you cannot ask a question? Uh -huh. Ask a general question that will enable people to understand. Hallelujah. Amen. Nagirang I will not answer that uh -huh. because I'm not yet there. Yes, of course. Arabaji Jangwe said, No muka we mana Uchene no not a body as such. Uchene you mobili go. Ari kohari in the system. Not a this question is Does the spirit of God need a person to work? Yay. Yes. It needs a human being to speak. That's why we are said we are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. We are a temple. The Spirit of God needs us to work effectively. I think this is very much understood. Hallelujah. Amen. But now, there is another way the Spirit of God can work through an altar. Before a person being there, and there is an altar. Amen. Amen. Is it clear now? Yego. Amen. 
cyangwa nuburyo bibaza na hantu hari fiziko ubu kwavuga ngo mfite ngune na canye gicaniro na hantu afatika na hantu bonane nta muntu yaba yaraterekereye hano di is there a person who did witchcraft here oya bibaho twese dufite aho twavuye everyone has what they can umuntu yaba yaraterekereye yadufasha kugira ngo nsubize ikibazo cyo can someone who went into sorcery help nta muntu yaba yaraterekereye ngo adufashe is there someone who can umura wavuye y'Imana ishimwe papa yaraterekereye okay muzana ihuti badufashe kumenya ngo mu guterekera byagendaga gute how does it work sorcery mu guterekera barabanzaga bakajya mu nzu yabazimu cyane cyane niho baterekereraga noneho bakitwaza ibintu bakitwaza urugimbu noneho bakarushyira mu kantu kameze nk'ikidongi cy'ubudodo bagacana uko urugimbu ruriho rwaka bakareba aho urumuri rugenda rugana kugeza igihe umuriro urangirira cyane cyane niho habaga hakomeye kuko babonaga ukuntu urugimbu ruzimye niba ruzima ruzimya kokanya niba ruzimye rwerekera ibumoso niba ruzimye rwerekera iburyo ibyo byose byabaga bifite igisubizo rutanze iki kibazo cyabazanya aho ngaho kibazo cyabazanya aho ngaho so this one is an example of how uh, the old way system works okay they used to go in a ghost a ghost house they had a house they would dedicate that house to the great 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 grandchildren that died that died that are not alive then they would call that house an altar then that house becomes an altar of ghosts. Then they go and ask the ghosts. It can be a house. It could be a corner in your house. It could be under a tree. Hallelujah. Amen. It can be a person. It can be a person. Gishobora kuba numuntu. It can be a person too. Wa muntu wo 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 yabaga mumva. A person who used to live in the grave. Yesu yahuriye nawe mu mumva wo muri Magadara. That Jesus found in the grave in Magadara. Eh? Yes. Ya amubaje yarabajije ngo muri bangahe. When they asked how many are you? Baravuga ngo turi legion. We are a legion. Nuko banguri ya muntu. That person. Bari bamusutsemo imyuka ihagije. They put sufficient spirit. Yari yarahindutse igicaniro. He has become an altar. Kimyuka. Of spirits. Ara biramurenga. And it was none of them. Abiwabo abamushizemo ibyo bagakoresha igicaniro ruwo muntu they use a note and that's the person niyo mpamvu ushobora gusanga mu miryango hari imwe abana bibigoryi this is why in a family you can find a foolish child abo bana bibigoryi baba barahinduwe ibicaniro and those people have been turned into altars mana yacu turenge may our god defend us none hongira ngo birumvikane now i think it's clear nuko umwe ngo umwuka bwawo the spirit in itself ntacyo wabasha gukora cannot work on ukeneye kuko narababwiye ngo ubutware authority bugomba urabuhabwa you are given kandi iyo uhawe ubutware when you are given authority uhabwa naho ugomba gukorera muri bwa butware you are given by the person you have to serve kwebwe twahawe ubutware ni imana for us we are given an authority by god ni nayo mpamvu turi insengero z'imana that's why we are the temples of god kuko umwuka w'imana akorera muri because the spirit of god works in those people that's why we are powerful hallelujah amen but we don't use that power because we have no understanding the authority that we are given dufite imbaraga we have power kubgaza imbaraga ziba muri twe because of the power that lives in us go kwimura ubwo butware to shift that authority tukabujyana hadakwiriye and we take it in a place that is not deserving umupfumu 
a witch is an altar of demons. Because they walk through him so that they can reach out to other people. I think now it's clear. It's a place that is given authority so that the spiritual realm that did not have the capacity can come and work in that position. Now there is a mighty secret This earth does not belong to the devil. The devil can work in this earth only when he's given authority. But in the time he has not given authority. And he's not given authority because he's going to work in the person. Not because there is an altar to work from. There is no ability of the devil to This is why I tell you the power that fights our life. We have to know the source. The devil has the ability of you. It's because of an altar. There are some altars that you placed on your own. There are authorities that are altars that were put on a family and there are altars that were put on a jurisdiction. Those who serve the devil most of them have a room that you cannot open. What is in that room? They put a table. They put small little articles on that table. That's where they go and call the spirits. This is where they start sending, deploying the spirits. That's an autumn. Harabandi, Sam, Amuchumba, Che, in their room, Hava Harimaga, Akan, Hukari Haria, there's something right there. Where they put grass, and they put a, 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 a calabash of, of drink, and there is milk. That's what they call the. That's what they call the spirits. When they give you money, and they pass it in that corner, and they show it to the ghost, and they bring it, and they bring it to you. Then you have losses after losses. You get to nothing. May our God rescue us. I don't know if you feel these teachings. Is it clear? Let's stop here. If we continue, we'll spend the night We shall continue. But now you are going home with, an, with someone who is powerful. You alone. You and the Holy Spirit who lives in you. You're powerful. Everything that is left is to destroy all those altars in the family. Those altars that you placed that you owe you remove Removing the authority that they were given on your life. May Jesus bless you. Stand up and we pray. Tomorrow we'll continue. We shall continue. Tomorrow we shall see these altars that were good for God, that were shifted to do evil. We are going to find out about that. What I will tell you that comes out of your head. To say that if God placed a principle. Whether you are a pagan or saved. This is what you can do. If you implement that principle. It will work. Yeah. What do you think, chef? 
If you put into implementation the principle with clear understanding, it will work. This is why they send spirits and they come to you. Because those people have understanding. The power of altars. May our God do good to us. After this teaching, I'm so confident you will become very powerful people that are power to fight for yourself. And you cannot be threatened by things that you say. You're going to pray. The first. Pray to God that I understand these things. Because this will change your life of a Christian. We are always pulling. The devil is always pulling. Because we have lack understanding. Now tell God. I want to understand. I want to understand. I want to gain understanding. And once I understand, I'll start implementing because my life will not be the same. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Senga, senga, mwene data. Pray, brother. So harish kuit ya usengi. Bring out your voice and pray. We are walking in the spirit of God. We are walking in the spirit of God. We are the spirit of God. We are walking in the spirit of God. And have your tears and the prayers. I know we are tired. Data mizi narja Yesu. Our Father, in the name of Jesus. We come before you, Open our hearts. Open our minds. Come out of logic. Come out of the things you are telling us. Let there be. Let there be. Knowledge coming from your soul. We are tired of this life. We are tired of the life that takes us from. That's why we are going to study this principle. So that they will never do it to disappoint us. So that we know how to do it in godliness. Father, we thank you. Open our mind. Open our mind. Remove the power of the devil. Remove all the evil power. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now pray. Open our mind. Open our mind. Some people will go in their altars so that they bring retaliation. Now pray. Starting from east, I stop all the spirits and all the sacrifices of east, of west, of south, and of north. All of them that was because of this teaching so that they fight I quiet them I bring the blood of Jesus and that's the mighty altar to quiet all those altars and sacrifices and that's a prayer of the people Senga Senga Hagarika Hagarika Chechekesha Inga Vichaniro Akakanya Vicheche Inga Vyashagu Kuyora Ho Vicheche Vizina Jayaso Vicheche Vicheche Vizina Jayaso In the name of Jesus Inga Vyamu Majaru Guru Quiet! 
Now tell God I thank you. I thank you that you're giving us your mysteries. Your name be honored. Now raise your voice and thank God. Our Lord, we thank you. Our Lord, we honor you. Our Lord, we lift you high. Thank you, our King. Thank you, our honorable God. You are enabling us to learn this thing. So that we have understanding. So that we can gain understanding. And we know who we are. Tumenya nubu shobozi waduha. And we have the ability to give us. Thank you, we honor you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, Abahu Mugisha. Jesus bless you. Let us be the power of repentance. Be repentant in all ways. Be repentant in all ways. Pray for yourself, destroying everything that you install. Yes, May Jesus bless you.